What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and we have October 2019 205 Inside Track Club coupons to look at, and we're gonna talk about them as we go. Some are good, some are bad. I'd say it's a it's a medium type list. So let's just get into it. And this first coupon is gonna show why I'm changing up the way I do these coupon videos. You see a price of 154 on that dust collector. 129 looks like a hell of a deal. But if you just use a standard 20% off coupon, your price will be 124. So use that 20% off coupon at least until December and then central machinery will be excluded. Their 53 piece tool set, I don't recommend any other tool sets. I've never heard anyone ever say anything good about the Pittsburgh tool sets. And we got the router bit set there. I have the black colored bit set and I think it's a good starter set. You do have to sharpen it so go ahead and get you some diamond files with them. Otherwise you're just gonna hate them. But again, saving five dollars that's exactly like using 20% coupons so no need to rush out on that. And I may have forgot to mention that these coupons are good until the end of October and also if you see something you like feel free stop the video take a screenshot, hit the subscribe button, and then take it to your local Harbor Freight and get you a deal. And then with the vacuum bags, you know, I really don't know anybody that uses these things, so I don't know if they're worth a damn or not, and you're only saving a dollar, so let's keep searching for a deal here. The three-jaw puller set, I don't have all four of them anymore, but I know I have a Pittsburgh three-jaw puller. Works just fine. Never used it in a high torque application though, so beware on that. Or if you know about it, comment down below to warn people off if it's a bad deal. Tape measure you can usually get for free. And also don't forget, beginning this month, we're gonna start the Brad's Best Coupons where I search out all the coupons that save you 25% or more on Harbor Freight products, and I will post them middle of the month. Then for the rest of the month, everybody is free to come back, leave links to other coupons that have come up, I may be leaving comments to other coupons that are good deals. It's going to be a group effort here. There are only two requirements. It has to either save you more than 25% or be a coupon for an item which is normally excluded. And over there we got a cordless soldering iron for 20% off, but I don't remember seeing that before, so somebody correct me if I'm wrong. That might be new. I don't do a whole lot of soldering. But anyways, three quarter inch drive impact socket set, channel called Workbench with Dad. Just reviewed the chrome three quarter inch drive socket set of Harbor Freight and did not have too good of things to say about him. So maybe he's watching this, maybe he'll get that coupon there. That's about $10 off, which is actually a few dollars more than 20% off. So that's a good coupon right there. And now we got the dual linesman pliers and at $13, it does save you a little bit more than a normal 20% off coupon would. I love the dual angle dikes. I've spoken very highly of them, used them in a professional setting for nearly two years now, but I've also heard some people say they don't like them. So I'm not sure quite what to make of the brand. I've been happy with them personally. But I have only bought the dykes and a pair of dual channel locks. So maybe the other ones aren't as good. Or maybe I got lucky and got the couple good pairs that came out of the batch. Who knows? And I'm not sure why, but the next four coupons got glossed over. But I want to bring up a picture of them because this uh, bar clamp proves a very good point. At $3.99, you're getting about 35% off the normal price. But what makes Inside Track Club worth it is I can go in there and buy five at a time which I have done before and that is why I have a lot of my clamps. So in one trip you save 10 bucks, that's half the cost of a one year membership right there. You got $20 off the plastic welding kit and since it's $74 originally, that's uh, better than a 20% coupon, so that's not bad. The burger welding blanket, six foot by eight foot, that's a pretty good size one. I need to actually look into getting one of those. You got your 14 inch aluminum pipe wrench. Now, me personally, I like the Harbor Freight pipe wrenches. Are they as good as a rigid or something like that? No. Do the teeth wear out? Yes. But with the lifetime warranty and with the amount of abuse I've seen these pipe wrenches take, I think they're worth every penny. You got the padded mechanics gloves there. It looks like it has extra padding in the palm of it, which is a little opposite of what I'm used to. Our gloves protect our knuckles and our tips of our fingers from being smashed, so I'm not sure how those would quite work out. And look, the hose plier set. I have been trying to buy that set for two years. I always forget about it because I never think about needing a set of pliers like that until I'm in a situation wishing I had them. So I'm gonna promise myself I will pick them up this month. 
and you got a 12 piece file and rasp set i can't recommend any of those or any of the file or rasp at harbor freight for that matter they're just terrible you got your stubby ratcheting wrench set for about 20 percent off and right below that you got a 10 pack of cutoff wheels now we use these all the time at work and i've never had an issue with them i hear people talk about how they're scared of them all the time yes you should wear a face mask like you would with any brand harbor freight or not but i say buying now i know somebody's going to go down to the comment section and tell me their singular horror story of how they were using a cutoff wheel from harbor freight it shattered into a million pieces ricocheted against the wall sending shrapnel into their their dog's left eye and now Lucky's running around blind, running in circles because he can only see out of one eye, all do because they wanted to save a few dollars on a Harbor Freight cutoff wheel. It's always the worst case scenario on YouTube. Moving on though, $10 off that uh, needle scaler is pretty good. Those are a very good tool, even AVE said so I believe. You got a tarp coming up here for $5. It's a farm all-purpose tarp, so that means it must be good. I usually just stick with the free ones, replace them often when they get worn out because they do wear out very quickly. Got a nice little four piece quick release extension set, about 20% off on that one. And the little hook magnets look handy as hell. I think I'm going to pick some up and see how they work with, you know, putting them on my table saw, a joint or stuff like that just to hang things. Now this little carpenter's vise, I'm not too impressed with. It's about a 20% off savings anyways, but what I really hate is it mounts on top of your bench instead of flush with the top of your bench. Really look into that. It may be able to be modified, but I say save your money, keep your own Facebook marketplace, and find a proper wood vise. And for $8, you got a genuine leather chamois. Not that it's a great deal. I just remember when I was a kid for like seven or eight years in a row, I bought my dad a chamois for his birthday every year, and he loved him. The man was a car washing freak. Here's a tarp they're trying to save for $3, unless you need the camouflage. I know people that have wrapped deer blinds and stuff like this. Just stick to the free one. And I think I said this in another video, but I'm going to ask again. If anybody has any experience with this portable sandblasting kit for $25, bucks, Leave a comment down below, let us know about it, because I'm very interested in possibly getting it for some of the restorations I do. A first aid kit is always handy to have in a shop, especially if you're using Harbor Freight cutoff wheels, because you know, it's going to explode and it's probably going to murder you. That yellow 8 inch bench grinder, I've heard good things about. It's only going to save you about 20% off for that coupon, so no rush, but what do we have there? Is that 410 Auto Tech in the future? I swear that's what he's going to look like when he hits about 35, so there's a little glimpse into your future, buddy. And uh, if you've never heard of 410 Auto Tech, go check out his channel. He's got a pretty good one over there. He's a young mechanic, real genuine dude. I really enjoy his channel. Got you an 8 inch C clamp there. Now, the Harbor Freight C clamps are not bad. I mean, it's a very simple tool. But if you go garage sale and you can find some much better quality C-clamps for like 50 cents a dollar, they're out there. You just got to get up early in the morning and go find them. The magnetic welding squares I use quite a bit. I have several of them. They're okay for the price. The only problem with them is you can't demagnetize them like the more expensive ones. So you get a lot of slag and chips that kind of build up on them over time. You got to just make sure that you keep cleaning it off. And I definitely don't recommend spending $75 on an inspection camera, a little three foot camera cord. When you go on Amazon and get ones that connect to your phone that are 12 foot long for $20. And the brush sets, whether you get the 99 cent one or the $10 one, definitely recommend just put them in your shop. Even if you don't know how you're going to use them, they will come in handy. Little chain binders there. I've never used the Harbor Freight ones, but you're getting a pretty good little discount there, so it might be worth a shot. And you know, if you're still hanging in there with me this long, you must be liking something, so you might as well hit subscribe, that way next month you don't miss the video, or the mid-month best coupons of the month video that I'll be putting out soon. And you got these fish sticks, a horrendous coupon, one dollar off, might as well use a 20%, but you're not gonna save that much anyways. I've used these fish sticks. They are very flexible. They're easy to break. So on one hand, it's nice because they're super flexible. On the other hand, they're easy to break, but they're cheap. Replace them often. 
they do come in handy. If you want the sandblasting cabinet, then use a 20% off coupon and it'll cost you $96 rather than $99. And we have finally come to the end, the Doyle slip joint pliers. You get about a dollar off, so use a 20% coupon. I don't know how often I have to say that. Don't forget, middle of the month, I won't have to say it no more. I will bring you only coupons that save you 25% or more. So check back on the channel around the 15th or better yet subscribe and hit the notification button and you won't miss it. We're going to have coupons that will only save you 25% or more or are often excluded items or seldomly put on sale. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right there, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace!